When you run applications in production, you need to monitor the infrastructure they run on. You also need to measure the golden signals of application health, like error rates and latency. Today, I'm going to show you how to instrument your service to expose application-specific telemetry with Prometheus, and how to configure Google's managed Prometheus service to ingest those metrics. I'm Yuri, an SRE at Google. Welcome back to Engineering for Reliability with Google Cloud. Last time, we started using Google's managed service for Prometheus by replacing the Prometheus image with Google's forked image. That enabled ingesting Prometheus metrics into the managed backend and querying them using PromQL. Those metrics were then also available in cloud monitoring, and you could start using them in charts, dashboards, and alerts. That was enough to start collecting infrastructure metrics from our cluster. Today, we're going to go two steps further. I'm going to show you how to instrument your service to expose telemetry and how to configure Prometheus to ingest those metrics. We'll do that by setting up Manage Prometheus Collection. I have zero management way to run Prometheus and the way to go if you're new to Prometheus or setting up a new cluster. All right, let's get into it. The first step is to instrument our service itself to expose a dedicated endpoint that Prometheus can use to scrape for metrics. We covered this in our previous episode on custom metrics, but let's have a quick look at an example in Python. We'll of course link to the full sample in the episode notes. This is an example Python Flask app that just has a basic homepage. Let's walk through the code together. First, import the necessary modules, then define the metrics you want to capture. In this example, we're going to track total requests, failed requests, and a latency distribution. We can use a decorator to time how long it takes to load a specific route, and we can increment the counters as needed. Finally, we specify the endpoint where Prometheus metrics should be exposed. Now we can see the data on this slash metrics endpoint. We're now ready to move on to the second step and configure Prometheus to collect and ingest this data. Let's start by verifying that our application is ready to be monitored by Prometheus. We can use port forwarding to confirm that it's exposing Prometheus metrics on the slash metrics endpoint. In order to get our application monitored by Managed Prometheus Collection, we need to do two things. First, we'll use this gcloud command to install Managed Prometheus in our cluster. Note that you can do this using kubectl if your cluster is not running in GKE. At this point, we can confirm that infrastructure collection is working by querying metrics that the Managed Prometheus Collector is ingesting about itself, for example. Now, we're ready to get our application monitored by creating a new pod monitoring resource. The selector specifies which pods to monitor based on label value. And the endpoints specify where to scrape for metrics. As we saw before, our application is exposing Prometheus metrics on the slash metrics endpoint on port 8080 which is called metrics in a deployment configuration. Once that's applied, let's run a query to confirm that application metrics are being ingested. And there we are. We can also query this metrics in Metrics Explorer simply by searching for it like this. And that's how you can instrument your application for Prometheus monitoring and have its metrics be collected and ingested by the Google Managed Service for Prometheus. Thanks so much for watching today. We learned how to instrument your application for Prometheus monitoring and how to configure Google's Managed Service for Prometheus to collect those metrics. Next time, we'll have a look at how to migrate an existing Prometheus deployment to the Managed Service for Prometheus. And if you have any other topics you'd like me to cover, please comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss out on more engineering for reliability with Google Cloud. See you soon.